Hey guys, I'm Elliot, this is Everything Elliot, and this used to be a stump pile. Uh, two days ago, I spent an exorbitant amount of time burning stumps, just because most of them were too heavy for my tractor to lift, so I needed to get rid of some of that wood weight. Well, there were still a bunch of clay balls on the bottom of the roots, and I'm sure you can see that. But the stumps that didn't burn, I actually put them out on my other burn pile, and, uh, well, because it's food plot time. It is end of July, and we need to get this food plot in. So, plan for today. We're going to get rid of this. We're just going to stockpile it somewhere. I don't know where yet. It's got a lot of trash in it that needs to be picked out, a lot of steel. There are a lot of wood chunks still left in it. So we're just going to pile it somewhere as best we can. So let's hop on the tractor and uh, let's move some clay, because that's what it is. It's all clay. Junk.
All right, things are going well. We've got a couple more scoops to get it all leveled off. in the bucket. Snakes in the bucket. There's the snake. I think he's alive still, buddy. Good job, buddy. High five. Good job.
Okay, Daddy's got to go talk to the camera. You stay here and play on the tractor? Mm-hmm. You guys watch him, all right? People watching this video are going to babysit you while I go talk to the other camera. All right, so what was once a giant pile of clay and ash is now a workable piece of land. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go grab the two bottom plow and uh, we're gonna go set it up. By the time we get it set up, it's gonna be time for dinner. Then I got bath time, then I got bedtime. So we're not gonna be out here. Look at this nice piece of steel. We're not gonna be out here until after bedtime. Oh, you're a troublemaker, aren't you? Ow! I just got stabbed by a pricker bush. How'd my butt look? You're not supposed to be doing that either. Come here. Look at that. I welded that last year. I wonder why that's not rusting and everything else does. That's super weird. Huh. All right, let's get the plow hooked up. Hook up. Yeah, we're gonna hook the plow up. See it back there? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I hook up a two bottom plow to a tractor. I know there's a right way, I know there's a wrong way, but I know for sure that step one is to put it on the tractor. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Put it on the tractor and uh, what's up, buddy? What's up? Yeah, we're gonna hook it up. We're gonna hook it up, all right? All right. All right. Go in your Jeep. Back it up. Yeah, we could back the tractor up to the plow, but the plow's light enough, so we're gonna pull it up to the tractor. Uh-huh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Go get in your Jeep. All right, so now that we got the three-point hitch, uh, what you call it, plow hooked up, what we need to do now is we actually need to get something that's about six inches tall, and we're gonna back the left tire over it, and that'll simulate the tractor sitting in the ditch on the right-hand side. Um, and basically, you need to level it. Well, it'll, it'll just make sense when I do it, but... It's time for dinner, so we're gonna go do that. 
All right, I know we said we were gonna do this the legit way, but I'm hearing some thunder, which means we're gonna be racing the rain, which means we're gonna do this the cheater way. You can see this pin is higher than this pin over here, and we need to even um, exaggerate that a little more. So essentially we're gonna take this pin out and we're just gonna lift it up one notch. That's gonna be the cheater way of doing it because we need to get out there and get working. Now you see how when this is sitting level, that plow's actually up in the air and that one's not. When this tractor goes into the ditch, that should level out. All right, we're in the food plot. I'm sure you're gonna hear the thunder and if you look up at the sky, it does not look good. I need to get this done. Although the clouds seem to be moving in a favorable way, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna mess with the cameras too much. I'm gonna leave this one in the corner. We're gonna have one on the tractor, and we'll see what happens. Now, don't forget, this is only my second time running this thing, the two bottom plow that is. So take it easy on me. this plow. All right, let's keep going. Adjusted the plow. Why is this front not grabbing? This is what I mean when I say it's my first time. I gotta make some adjustments. I'll bring the nose down a little bit. All right, let's try that. Front one keeps getting jammed up. Now that we have our first cut, let's see how this goes. What the heck is going on? It's not even grabbing.
Oh, it's starting to get cold. I know what that means. Rain is coming. Let's back up and try this again. This front one keeps getting jammed up with sod. I don't know what's going on. I didn't use this last. The guy that, ow! The guy that used it didn't know what he was doing. So I'm blaming him, because I had it set up just fine. And now it won't stop getting jammed up. What the heck? I think this wheel is too close to the cutter now. How did that even happen? And I also noticed that it came back with a broken tooth. That's my issue. Look at that. The tip is bent all the way around. See that? Let's go back to the shop. It is absolutely raining outside. I got soaked getting in here. And listen to it on the roof. So you're gonna have to deal with the rain noise, but now that we're back in the shop, I can kind of show you a little better what's going on. You can see this bottom board here, kind of, I mean, it should be a triangle out like that, and it's not. And then when you come around the other side, you're like, oh, there's the other end of the triangle. Yeah, bent, bent right down. That is not fantastic. So I gotta figure out how that comes apart. I guess we could start by hosing it off. This is, this is not how this video was supposed to go. I don't try to fix something in every video. All right, I'm gonna hose it off. See if I can get a better look at it. So after cleaning this off a little bit, it appears that this whole bottom section right here wrapped around <clears throat> is one piece. So, there's two bolts. That appears to be it, I think. That's all it feels like, is two bolts. I have no idea if they're gonna come out or not. Oh, it's going. Wow. It's actually going. Sweet. Oh, what a relief. I am not gonna be able to get a socket on the other one. Open end wrench it is. <clears throat> Moved a little bit. hurts my hand incredibly. <sighs> All right, we're getting somewhere. The other one I should be able to just put the impact on. Oh yeah, we're getting somewhere now. You know what? I left the lime in my truck. Shoot. 
One down. All right, I need to take a, a break and go get the lime out of my truck because it's just getting rained on. Having your lime get rained. I need to dump the water out of the bucket. Come on. Like I was saying, having your lime get rained on, not ideal but it won't kill it because it's in plastic bags. But I'm sure there's holes in the plastic bags. It's all right, this is gonna get put down in a couple days, so it's not a huge deal. All right. Let's get back to the project at hand. All right, this other one should zip right off with the impact. I did the harder one first, and hopefully it just kind of like falls right off. I don't know. Hmm. I need to keep that in there, but those are razor sharp. How am I gonna do that? Violence it is. Aha! That thing got hot here it's sizzling on the ground. Hold on. That's how hot that got. Shoo! Alright, so now hopefully, yep. It comes right off. This doesn't appear to be damaged at all, which is great. So now I just need to find this 70 year old piece of steel. Wonderful. So I'm gonna start looking for this part. This is a Ford two bottom plow. Yeah, it's Ford, a Ford two bottom plow. I can't find any model number or anything on it. And I don't even know what that piece is called. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this video posted as soon as possible. My hat's a little crooked, that's better. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this video posted as soon as possible. If you know what this thing is called or you know where to find it, please leave me a comment below. I'm gonna start searching. I need to get this thing here as fast as possible so I can get those food plots in. So yeah, leave a comment if you know what it is. Again, Ford two bottom plow and it's the bottom like cutting edge thing. Like I said, I've only used this plow twice, so I'm not super familiar with plows. And I guess the old saying is, uh, if you ain't breaking shit, you ain't farming. So that's going to be it for today's video. This took a wild turn. I did not expect it to go that the way it did. I plan on getting a lot more done in this video, but uh, obviously that's not happening. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, have a great day.